Okay, man oh man, today is a busy day. I'm getting direct messages about, okay, so you use practice ignition, and we hear you also use carbon. How do you use the, both of them together to create efficiencies in your workflow? So to reiterate, practice ignition is the, the app that we use to, to help us with our um, engagement process, right? So that's the compliance side, that's you know covering our butt side, uh, agreeing to the scopes of services uh, mutual to both parties, the client and us. So we're very specific when we write out our engagement letters to our clients, like how many bank accounts we're going to reconcile, up to how many employees we're going to run payroll, uh, when HST is going to be run, is it monthly, quarterly, weekly, the financial reports that they're going to get. We're very, very granular with the, with the service types that we have. And this is the secret sauce to creating your workflows into Carbon or whatever you use, it's just I use Carbon. So uh, within uh, Practice Ignition, you can copy, like highlight everything and then right click, copy. And in uh, Carbon, you can create a new work item and select paste. It will say, do you wanna select it all to one line item or to 13 line items individually? And obviously you wanna create a separate task for each item you've quoted for on your engagement letter. And you just select paste and bam, there's your workflow into Carbon. So the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do in Carbon, unless you wanna like retype that out, um, you just go in and you look at your uh, different service types. You assign it to a team member, you assign it a due date, uh, maybe you put a link in there to a DGI, a detailed job instruction, an SOP, a standard operating procedure, or whatever you want to call it for your team, and uh, save it and make it reoccurring. So set and bake, and away it goes. So that's how we run with practice ignition to formalize our engagements. Copy and paste the uh, workflow items into Carbon, and we refine them, because in time, both of them are going to change, right? We're going to have scope creep. We're going to change our practice ignition as well. Uh, same thing, we might have other things that maybe don't go into the engagement that we want our team to look at. Maybe it's something about um, a different type of compliance thing or just a, a due diligence thing that I want my team to do that maybe isn't going to be on the engagement. So there you go. That's how we roll. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing everyone else's uh, success stories, either using those two apps or whatever workflow you have in place. So take care, bye.